the other side. Hey, now we're live back uh, here at Bunny Ranch. All right, it's here. April 26th, Saturday, I believe. We'll interview you first, then we'll interview her. Okay. Yeah, and then I'll hold her live stream. <laughs> and, then, and then we're going to go to Chow Hall and get some neat. So uh, we won't be able to stream at Chow Hall because I don't get any reception over there. I was going to say now. Is it okay to take pictures at the chow hall or not? I would just ask permission before you take any pictures of anybody. It, it, I would ask each individual permission because... You know, I was talking to her. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm trying to give your, your viewers something to... Yeah, because I won't even take pictures without asking. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't ask me. I didn't take a picture. Oh, I thought you did. No. Oh. Do you think she did a video? All right, you ready? Sure. And now, what's your name again? Billy? No, uh, Jacqueline, Athena Gartrary. Athena Gartrary. We'll just go Jacqueline. Okay. And Everybody knows me as Athena. So. All right. 580 KIDO, Kevin Miller in the morning. We're with a young lady by the name of Athena here at Bunkerville, just outside the Bundy Ranch. As our coverage continues, who's telling the truth, the BLM or the Bundys? And have you been hearing the real story from the media? Athena, tell us where you're from and, and why you're here uh, in Nevada, where it rains, then it snows, and now the sun's out, and good old Kay Millie's going to go get some sunscreen. Regardless of that, uh, why are you here? Well, I'm, I'm from Bakersfield, California. I'm here because, number one, I do support our militia, men and women. I think that uh, this is a very critical moment in history. Uh, what happened here at the Bundy Ranch has made news not just here in the US but overseas and this is a pretty big issue I support the Constitution I believe in the Constitution and I support our militia men and women okay so you're here now it's a little quiet you were here and we've talked to several folks that were here when you had that big showdown day when you had the BLM when you had the coalition of the Cowboys as a observer what was that like, and how militaristic did this area look? Oh, Kevin, you know, it was it was surreal. Um, I couldn't, it, it was just uh, something that's now engraved in my mind that I'll never forget. Um, when we had, the freeway was shut down. Uh, they actually, I think, ended up opening it up to one lane on each side. And there were militia snipers on the freeway, and the BLM had snipers on the, on the, there was a pretty, pretty high plateau on the other side of the freeway. So they had snipers on the plateau, and they had their armored men on the other side of the gates, where the cowboys uh, and Ryan Bundy, who we spoke to earlier, who met up with, um, down at the gates to talk to the BLM to demand their cattle back. So it was very intense, and it was emotional when the cattle finally got released and returned to the Bundys when the cattle started coming through. You see the the calves uh, crying out for their mamas, um, but it, it was emotional, surreal. Uh, I I was witness to uh, our domestic battleground, and unfortunately, it was our own government participating in this. So, uh, what, Athena, what do you say to people? And there are a lot of skeptics, not only on the East Coast, but <laughs> maybe even in the great state of Idaho or at 580 KIDO. What do you say to the skeptics that say, well, you don't pay your taxes, well, Mr. Bundy said this, this is what happens when you break the rules? People, study your constitution. There are free courses available. If you go to the website, citizensactionnet.com, there are links to educational resources on our constitution. We have courses that are available that you can complete in as little as two hours study the Constitution get to know your rights get to know get to know the Constitution so you know how our public servants work for us we don't work for them they work for us right and uh, that was a great shout out to the Citizens Action Network you guys have been doing a great job however at 580 KIDO with Kevin Miller if you're sitting here hanging out and someone would come up to you and say Mr. Bundy's wrong everybody here is wrong you don't fight the the government because the government's always right based on your first hand experience your first hand of seeing these people spending their own money their own time their own sacrifice being here 
What would you? How would you answer the the critics? Uh, really, they're not going to understand until they're faced with the same situation that people are faced with when they're having when their lands are being taken away, when their livestock are being taken away, and they they have, they they make it look like they want to protect um, an endangered species or a habitat or a plant. They don't give a crap about plants or the animals, in my opinion, because not too long ago, if I'm not mistaken, the BLM was euthanizing the desert tortoise. So, what's really going on, people? Uh, critics, um, do some digging. Find out the truth. The truth is there. You'll find it if you look for it. What type of people have you met here in the militia? Again, you've come from California. There are other things that you could be doing, but you're here filming and taping and, and, and getting their stories uh, and you're going to, again, let's just address the skeptics that might think the, the people here are kooks. There are no kooks here. The kooks are on the other side. Um, we're dealing with sociopaths, I believe. Our government is run by sociopaths. How can you do this to a family? How can you incarcerate and target innocent Americans, Americans that want the truth? Amer Americans that stand up against corruption. How can you how can you incarcerate those people? When really, these public servants that are violating their oaths, they belong in handcuffs. They belong behind bars. It's wrong. What they're doing is wrong. You've met the the Bundy family. You've gotten to know them. We've seen them on TV. What are they like? They're very nice people. They're warm. I got a chance to meet with uh, Mrs. Bundy this morning. I had lunch in her kitchen. Um, very sweet woman. I don't understand why people are calling them, uh, oh, they're millionaires that aren't paying their taxes. These people are not millionaires. You were to step into their kitchen, it's like I'm walking into my grandmother's home, you know, my late grandmother. So, you know, stop the nonsense. Stop creating hearsay. None of that is true. They're very nice people. They're not racist people. I spoke with, uh, with a, a younger uh, African-American gentleman who's, in the, who's in the militia member, and he expressed how the Bundys have been very welcoming, very warm, very kind to him. So, you know, the media trying to spin this into a racial issue, you need to stop it, because this is not a racial issue. This is about people's rights. This is about our land that's being taken away by the federal government. So there's bigger issues here, and these are bigger issues that are coming to light. Where do you see this going? You know, we've talked to a lot of people. If you're just tuning in at 580KIDO, we are live in Bunkerville, Nevada, just outside the, the Bundy Ranch, uh, talking to our friend Athena here, who has covered the story from the beginning, who was here when uh, the feds and the cowboys had the big showdown and has seen a lot of things going on here. Where do you, where do you see this going as someone who is an observer, someone here who has gotten to know the Bundys. How do you see this ending? I, I, I remember seeing the revolution in Egypt unfold when the people demanded the government, well, Morsi's government step down and, you know, their country be given back to the people. That's what I see happening in America. And I already see our revolution. I believe that our revolution has already begun. That's where I see this going. Finally, uh, the West has been under the federal control for quite some time. We have seen the stories where the BLM and others have taken over the West. It, recently in Salt Lake City, you had over 50 elected representatives from over nine Intermountain States meeting to try and find a way to get the lands back. Why is it so important that the states have control over the lands as opposed to the feds that continue to to gain access to the to the lands you don't see that on the east coast that's very interesting um i think those are those are good questions uh, i think people need to start looking into land patents uh you know the rightful heir ownership of their lands they need to start digging into that people that own acres that own land i don't own any land um, but there's a lot of fraud. It's not just land fraud. There's foreclosure fraud. Uh, so, uh, you know, those are good questions. I can't give you a specific answer to that question. But, you know, people do your research. 
you find out what's going on, when you start looking at the paperwork, you know, the pa paperwork, paper trail doesn't lie. It's there. You know, Renee discussed it earlier with you. It's all there. You're very emotional about this. I'm very emotional because I never imagined this happening in my own country. This is not the America I dreamed of when I was a kid. Good job. All right, guys, I'm going to archive, and we'll be right back, and I guess it will be uh, my turn, and we'll give Athena a minute so she can uh, take care, of, take over the live stream. I'm just pointing at your people. Oh. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, just one minute. Oh, wait, I got to go out of chat. Okay, perfect.